It, it is so cool. And right now, as it stands, and there's some inclement weather, so right now you could call about 50% go, but NASA is moving and preparing as if this launch is going to happen at 4.33 p.m. Eastern. President Trump is en route as we speak as well down to Kennedy Space Center. Billions of dollars, years of planning for this historic moment as these NASA astronauts, Bob Bank and Doug Hurley, get ready to, if all goes according to plan, lift off. As I mentioned, just after 4.30 to the International Space Station in SpaceX's Crew Dragon capsule. That's going to mark the first time people have gone to orbit from U.S. soil in nearly a decade. Also the first time ever in a commercial spacecraft. So we were just showing you some video. They're already making their way onto that Dragon capsule right now as we speak. It sits atop a Falcon 9 rocket. So they're about 26 stories up right now to run tests in a highly automated cockpit that has been described as a, quote, flying iPhone, thanks to its touch screens. Now, we also saw earlier this hour, and I know you uh, highlighted it, Kelly, clad in those SpaceX designed suits, the astronauts riding to launch pad 39A in what else? Color coordinated Tesla Model X with the retro NASA worm logo on the side uh, of the car. SpaceX is handling mission control rather than NASA. The company is also going to attempt to re-land the rocket's first stage booster post-launch. Uh, heaven forbid the mission is aborted in flight. The 45th Space Wing is on standby with a crew and, quite frankly, an army of vehicles and different types of um, uh, hardware to help bring those astronauts home safely. But hopefully this time tomorrow, if all goes according to plan, Bankin and Hurley will be docking at the ISS for a one to four month stay and really ushering in, Kelly, a new era of human spaceflight that is defined by public-private partnership and that NASA Administrator Jim Bridenstine believes will lead to the broader commercialization of space. Yeah, and that's one thing I misunderstood. I thought they were coming back in just a couple of days, but it sounds like this is going to be a longer visit, and it means that we don't have to, to turn to the Russians to get to the International Space Station. So, step one, uh, we'll see if this launch goes off this afternoon. Uh, Morgan, we'll see you again, but, I mean, just, just incredible. You know, I don't hate space today. I love it. I love it. I can't, I can't, I can't get enough of it.